Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. Today we are bringing you top 50 interview question and answers on Agile methodology. Agile has become an integral part of all projects or all modern project development. If you are going to attend any interview, you are going to be bound to be asked questions on Agile, which means you need to know about Agile and we will bring you and prepare you well for all the questions that you can be asked on Agile. We bring you the top 50 interview question and answers compiled from top companies that, and from their interviews. Before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. During the course of these tutorials, if you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with top 50 interview question and answers on Agile. So the very first question that is often asked is, what is a Agile? What is your understanding of Agile? Can you explain Agile in brief? So Agile is a software framework of behaviors and approaches encouraging in-time production, which enables customers to receive quality software faster. Agile involves iterative project implementation approaches where traditional methods like project lifecycle phases are included. What are the major Agile components? So some of the major Agile components are, it's a test-driven development approach, continuous de deployments are involved, there is pair programming which are involved, there is close collaborations between product and business teams and development teams. There are daily stand-ups and other ceremonies like daily stand-up, retrospective, sprint planning, etc. So when you talk about this, also talk about and inform them that you are, you are working and you are also um, in a project which implements Agile framework. What is the difference between Agile and Scrum? Now, this is a very uh, interesting question. Uh, it has a thin line of difference, which you should definitely know. Yes, Agile is a broad umbrella under which the Scrum falls. So when we say Agile is a framework or a methodology and Scrum is a part of it. Scrum has its own set of principles and values and provides a lighter framework to help the team become Agile. Mention a few Agile frameworks. So this is another question they want to ask you to see the kind of framework that was followed in your project. So they will ask you, what are the different types of Agile frameworks? So we can talk about test-driven development. You can talk about Kanban board. You can talk about Scrum of Scrums. And you can also talk about feature-driven development. When should you use waterfall over Scrum? Now, this is another question that is asked, uh, which is, when should we use waterfall? When should we use Agile? So, uh, so the, the really answer here is if we if we know the requirements are simple, they are straightforward and they will not change over a period of time, then you should use waterfall else we should use agile. How long the scrum cycle last? So the, the life of a scrum cycle totally depends. Like, for example, it can range from anywhere from three members to nine members and can last anywhere from three to four weeks is a typical scrum sprint that goes on, which is called as a uh, scrum sprint team. It usually ranges from two weeks, uh, usually followed that is a standard is two weeks, but can also go up to three or four weeks. What is the scrum of scrums? So for example, when you are working on a large complex project, you will have multiple small small teams working on features or functionality. Each of the team will have its own team lead and they will have their own scrum process. But when you work with each one of them together and they will have a meeting which is called as scrum of scrum. So this is a forum which helps to understand uh, and coordinate between different teams also helps in 
in coordinating better in terms of dependencies, resolving conflicts. And the primary points to discuss in the meetings are team progress, any blockers, and also what, what are the tasks that needs to be done before uh, someone else needs a uh, progress to be made on their side. So this is more like smaller teams trying to achieve different functionality and this will help in better coordination. Now this is a very very basic uh, thing that everybody should know when working with Agile. So the first thing they'll ask you is can you tell me the difference between um, Agile, uh, Epic, User Stories and Task. So Epic is a software feature that's defined by a customer and itemized in the product backlog, which is known also as Epic. So Epic is nothing but a top level itemized uh, features that are defined by the customer. User stories are usually the breakdown of the features into smaller set of achievable tasks. So those are called user stories. Now, what is a task? So the let's say there is a feature called user story called login now you can further break it down and say user should validation or some other breakdown into smaller sets that is called as task so task is the lowest level multiple tasks will make up one user story multiple user stories will make up a epic differentiate between incremental and iterative development so iterative development is a continuous software development process where the software development cycles, sprint and releases are repeated until the final product is achieved. Incremental development, it segregates the functionality of the system into increments or portions. In each increment, the functionality segments are delivered through cross-discipline work from requirement to deployment. So this is very important question. You guys should really prepare this well. What is a test driven development? So a test driven development also known as TTD, which is TDD is also known as test driven design. In this method, a developer writes an automated test case describing the new function and then creates smaller code to pass the test and later refactors the new code to meet the acceptable standards. So in this approach, we will write the test first and do the other development activities later. That is called as test driven development. What do you mean by scrum poker technique or planning poker? So this is a card or poker cards based technique, which is used to come to an agreement. Uh, where we will estimate the complexity of the user stories. So each member would give present their numbers. These numbers are based on Fibonacci series like 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. The maximum is 13 and it cannot go beyond 13. So usually there are various planning cards and then we break it down into each member will estimate a number and that is what will be given uh, and come to an agreement by whole team. Discuss some of the principles of agile testing. So some of the principles of agile testing are it should be tested by the customer. The end product owner should be satisfied. It should be it should not have any uh, big or major issues or um, defects. And the, the customer always welcomes the change. The business people involved and the de developers work together in as one team. And there is a strong collaboration between the team members. Now, in this case, the meetings are encouraged on a frequent basis. You can have face to face, you can have video call, but the idea is to communicate clearly. And then this leads to a sustainable development model. Those are the really the principles of agile testing. What do you what are what do you mean by the disadvantages of the agile model? So this is an interesting question because they want to understand that are you aware of any flaws that can come into the model? 
So some of the major disadvantages of the agile system are, it's not easy to predict. If a big project is assigned, you will have a problem to estimate the efforts. For example, upfront you cannot estimate how much time it's going to take for each features because it's a complex piece of work. Focusing on design and documentation is not always proper, which leads to uh, some discrepancy later when the team size grows. So some of the, um, so there are, since there is a continuously changes in the requirements, the end product might miss or have to exclude some of the features. So, and since these are driven by the high authorities, the decision making, some of which uh, the knowledge is not thoroughly transferred to the last team member. Now, what do you mean by release candidate? To ensure that during the final deployment stage, there are no major problems left behind a code or version. So, or a build is released, which is known as a release candidate. So we will make sure we have a build which is bug free, which has all the required functionality. That build, we will call it as a release candidate. Differentiate between agile testing methods and other testing methods. So in other major methodologies of Agile, the code is divided into smaller parts or small functionalities. At one specific time, each branch of code is tested. Also, continuous communication is done as part of the code. Agile process is more flexible and focused. What is a zero sprint in Agile? A zero sprint can be defined as the pre-step to the first sprint. Things such as getting up the environment to develop, prepare backlog, etc. that needs to be performed before starting the sprint is what are the is called as the initial sprint or can be called as sprint zero. What does story point mean in the scrum? The scrum unit, which is used to estimate the effort required to finish or implement a backlog, is called as story point in the scrum. So this is an estimate of how much time or complexity a user story takes. Why do user stories are not estimated in working hours? So it's not mandatory to estimate user stories in terms of man hurt or as it, it will, as it will mean a lack of uh, product quality. In case of working hour, more attention is given to the budget and cost management. That's why we do not estimate the user stories during the working hours. That's why we have a separate sprint planning and grooming sessions. In which process a scrum master recommends to follow up action items. So the finest way to follow up action items is to establish up a follow up the work to be done by the team members. And the Scrum Master will collect this information. So these are these are some of the uh, pending action items or backlog that Scrum Master, um, you know, uh, will will collect this information from each team member and then recommend it and send it to uh, the entire forum. What are the most critical agile mat matrices that you will follow? Now this is another important question to check. Uh, that what are the different matrix that um, matrices uh, we can correct or matrix. So it can be velocity that how well the team is progressing on the user stories and are there any impediments? Are there any rollover of user stories? Defect removal awareness, then cumulative flow diagram. So this is also important. These are all matrix matrix which will give us uh, a detailed analytics of our sprint, sprint team and the work being done. So we can schedule a fix, uh, fixation of a defect is done or not, and then reporting the resolutions. So these are some of the important key metrics that are covered and will give us a clear picture of how the sprint is progressing. All right, friends, so that brings us to the end of part one of this series where we have covered 20, uh, 20 um, I would say, uh, interview question and answers. There is one more part that I'm bringing up, which is in the next part. Please don't miss it. 
and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you like this video, give up a thumbs up to keep encouraging me. Thank you. See you in the next part.